Welcome to our Azure Development Guide. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when transitioning to the latest Azure management tools. Our viewer is looking to replicate an interactive user login experience they had with an older version of Azure's SDK. They want to know how to authenticate using the new Microsoft Azure.Management.Fluent package without storing credentials on the hard drive. Let's explore how to achieve this interactive login with the latest Azure Management API. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To authenticate with Azure using an interactive user login in the latest Fluent SDK, we will use the azure.authenticate method. First, ensure you have the Microsoft Azure.Management.Fluent package installed. Next, we will set up the authentication process. The Azure.Authenticate method allows us to prompt the user for their credentials interactively. After authenticating, we can access Azure resources. For example, we can create a resource management client to manage our Azure resources. Finally, remember to handle exceptions and ensure that your application gracefully manages any authentication errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, the Azure SDK does not support interactive user login. Instead, it offers a silent login method using a username and password. To avoid storing credentials on the hard drive, you can implement the silent login model. This requires the user's credentials each time they log in. Here's a code snippet demonstrating how to authenticate using the silent login method with Azure credentials. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Fluent libraries do not support interactive login. If you're using .NET Core, consider device flow authentication, which requires a pop-up for user information from Azure AD. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.